Hi, this is Manish, and you're watching Simplified Coding. I'm here to suggest you the best lappy that you can buy for programming and software development, such as Android application development. And price for the lappy would be in the range of 35k to 45k. So let's get started with it. Now there comes a question: Why would you believe me? Why would you listen to my suggestions at all? Well. To answer that question, I'd like to tell you that I myself have been practicing and developing Android applications for the last two years, and I believe I pretty much know the requirements of a PC to develop applications efficiently. And the rest you will come to know as this video progresses. If you're watching this video, then you must be up to two things: you must be thinking of learning application development, and then you must be needing a PC to do so. Preferably laptop, I believe. Now, the selection process of laptop would entirely depend upon its purpose. Here, the purpose of laptop is to develop applications, and to develop applications, you'd require to run heavy RAM and storage-consuming IDEs, and that is uh, integrated development environment softwares. So, the end result of the selection process would be a lappy able enough to run multiple IDEs. Let's discuss the list of things that we need to take into consideration for such a laptop. Okay, so the first thing up on the list is RAM. RAM is an acronym for Random Access Memory and is occupied by applications as they are run. Now, how many gigs of RAM would be sufficient to run the big IDEs is the question. Well, the answer is minimum 8 gigs of RAM are required to run heavy softwares such as Android Studio, PyCharm, etc. So, the first filter we have for the required laptop is 8 gigs of RAM. The laptop we are looking for must have minimum 8 GBs of RAM. The next thing on the list is storage. Gone are the days when 500 GBs of memory on the computer used to be sufficient. The advancement of softwares have really added up to their required disk space. Also, we store huge logs of data on our systems, the, all those audio, video, uh, files and images. So to meet up with the requirement of storing large amount of data such as images, audio and video and also be able to have free disk space for the IDEs. The minimum amount of storage required would be 1 TB that is 1024 gigs of storage. So, here we have our second filter for the required laptop and it is 1 terabyte of storage. The next thing on the list is processor. Processor is of immense importance when it comes to carrying out a number of tasks simultaneously. The better the processor, the faster would be the task executions. Now, for processor, broadly we have just two choices, either Intel or AMD. Myself, being an AMD user, I'd strictly recommend to go for an Intel processor as they are way quicker at performing tasks than AMD's. The saddest part of not having an Intel processor for me was not being able to run the default Android Studio emulator, which is only possible if you have an Intel processor. I know AMD is cheaper than Intel, but then at the end, you get what you pay for. You pay better, you get better. Now, the question is, which Intel processor would be best for the minimum price? And the answer is, Intel Core i3 processor would be good enough for the purpose of executing multiple tasks on the PC. So, here we have our third filter for the required laptop and that is Intel Core i3 processor. Also, we have the price filter by default and that is 35k to 45k. That's it. Those are the filters at the least we need to consider while buying laptop for software development for the minimum price. Now, you must be wondering which brand you should go for and which specific product you should buy. Well, we have done that job for you and found out the best suitable laptops as per the discussed filters in the minimum price range. The brands we looked into for laptops are HP, Dell, Lenovo, Acer, and Asus. We have prepared the list of laptops each from the aforementioned brands. 
that is from each brand we have picked up the best laptop uh, which uh, fulfills our filters and uh, comes in the our price range okay getting started with hp laptop we picked from this brand is this as per the filters this product has 8 gbs of ram intel core i3 processor sec generation and 1 tb of hdd storage and additionally you get 2 gbs of dedicated amd redon graphics for the price of rupees 42290 next on the list is dell and the lappy we picked from this brand is this again this model has 1 tb of storage intel core i3 6th gen processor and 12 gb of ram that is something special about this laptop you will have enough amount of memory to be used in multitasking and it comes for the price of rupees 45000 next on the list is lenovo and the laptop we picked from this brand is this again it meets the requirement uh, requirements as per the filters apart from that you get 2 gbs of nvidia dedicated graphics of the series geforce 920mx this could be quite a good buy for those who do gaming as well apart from development next up is acer and here is the best we got from acer for the given price range this model from acer has 1 tb of storage and 8 gbs of ram and intel core i processor i5 processor 7th generation for the price of rupees 36990 this is quite a good buy for this price range as we are getting all that we were looking for plus we get a better processor that is core i5 processor next up on the list is asus and the model we got from asus is this This model from Asus meets the requirements as per the filter quite precisely and is available for a cheap price of rupees 35490. Now, we have to analyze and find out the best among the five laptops we mentioned. To do so, we'll rank the laptops as per the parameters mentioned in the filters, namely RAM, storage and processor. The better the parameter of a laptop, the higher it will rank in the list. On the basis of RAM, here's the list. Dell having 12 gigs of RAM ranks top in this list, and the rest having the same 8 gigs of RAM ranks second. On the basis of processor, here's the rank list. Asus having an Intel Core i5 7th gen ranks first in this list. HP, Dell, and Lenovo having the same i3 6th gen processor rank second and Asus having core i3 4th gen processor rank last on the basis of price here's the rank list Asus being the cheapest among the five backs the first position and the Dell being the costliest gets the last position on the basis of brand value here's the list By brand value we mean the liking of the brand among the people and its preference. HP and Dell are the two most common names which comes into people's mind, people's mind when they think of purchasing laptop. And then there are some who think of Lenovo, Acer and Asus. Now, if you sum up the ranks of these lap five laptops in the previously mentioned fields, you'll get this result. Asus having 8 gigs of RAM, 1 TB of storage, Intel Core i5 processor 7th gen and costing just rupees 36k ranks first overall. HP having 8 gigs of RAM, 1 TB of storage, Intel Core i3 processor 6th gen, great brand value and costing rupees 42k ranks second overall. Asus having 8 gigs of RAM, 1 TB of storage, Intel Core i3 processor 4th gen and being the cheapest gets the third position overall. Dell having 12 gigs of RAM, 1 TB of storage, Intel Core i3 6th gen processor and being the costliest among all gets the fourth position. Lenovo having 8 gigs of RAM, 1 TB of storage, Intel Core i3 6th gen processor and being the second costliest among all gets fifth position. All the aforementioned laptops will do the job fine for software development purpose and programming as well as their specs suggest. But if you want to get uh, the best for the minimum price then I totally recommend Acer. Hope we were able to solve your problem. Thank you.